Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com, and this is your new shot. So to activist post we go, they say robots will soon be punishing humans, as Ford files a patent for robotic police cars. Could this be the start or the advent of RoboCop? Interestingly enough, in October of last year, the network of autonomous police vehicles being deployed in Dubai included hover bikes and fleets of mini police surveillance vehicles that look like electric cars. The vehicles are part of a citywide initiative of embedding AI, artificial intelligence, to patrol with biometric and conventional surveillance tools. Now, at the time that these measures were fairly, these they were really easy to dismiss by uh, people who heard this story, accustomed to a constitutional republic since Dubai is ruled by an absolute monarchy under Sharia law that has free reign to rapidly implement new forms of governments. Let me let me stop there. Dubai is actually one of the more lenient uh, countries in the Middle East, uh, the United Arab Emirates. It is where, say, uh, people from Saudi Arabia and other countries where Sharia law is much more strictly enforced, they actually go there to drink, to go on holiday, or uh, to gamble. There's casinos over there. There's all sorts of things to do in Dubai. As a matter of fact, if you ever get a chance, uh, I would highly recommend going to visit because Dubai is an absolutely beautiful city. Uh, they are host of the World Expo 2020, where there being a future model of a large city of a future, which um, also in the United Arab Emirates, there is a, a smart city being uh, built called Mazdar City that is a cutting edge AI managed uh, community where cars are not allowed. It's a zero emission, 100% renewable energy. It's all your stuff is tracked. You're tracked everywhere you go. Um, it is an unbelievable test of the merging of the culture of convenience and technology. I mean, cutting edge technology. And when I say everything is tracked, I mean down to your bodily waste. Everything is tracked and measured. Now, just think about that for a second. Do you want government in your life so much for that added convenience? Just a question, just a thought. Business insiders reporting on a partnership that Ford has established with the U.S. government that granted the company a patent for autonomous police vehicles. And, of course, the issuance of a patent doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to become a reality. But given the stature of Ford and Americans' increasing pensions for giving up liberty for the promise of security, this should not be dismissed, not at all. Listen to this. According to the designs by uh, seen by Business Insider, this future car could independently find hiding places detect vehicles breaking the law, and even chase down drivers. The designers envisioned car-to-car technology, which would let the patrol vehicle check whether a car was being driven manually or automatically, could scan the driver's license, and if need be, issue a ticket remotely. The goal of the autonomous police car, Ford says, is not to replace human police officers, but to help them with routine police tax, uh, tasks, a la the culture of convenience. Because even if, even if, um, a police officer, you, you do this, you're just making it more convenient for that police officer to get this job done. Now, all he's got to do is sit in that driver's seat or whatever, and the car will just issue the tickets itself. It's almost akin to the red light camera, which we can see is going over like a lead balloon uh, to the populace here of the United States. This is why red light cameras are uh, continually screwed with, and I can't even believe that municipalities still have these things there because time and time again, uh, they are, uh, these tickets that are issued by red light cameras are beaten in court because you can't face your accuser. Uh, there's a whole host of ways that you can defend yourself against these red light cameras. Now, uh, the car is going to be equipped with sensors such as cameras and a laser system that would allow it to tr uh, catch traffic offenders. Now, if this concept is ever finalized for production, we could see the arrival of a car like this between 2021 in 2025 based on the company's development goals. It, it should also be stated that really a lot of this technology hinges upon the rollout of 5G because you're going to need the bandwidth for this type of Internet of Things, for this type of AI to take hold and take root in these municipalities and to manage these things much more um, 
closely and robustly. So it's worth noting that while here in the United States, uh, there's a big fight against the spread of drones being used by police. Uh, in some cases, even for routine, routine police work. Meanwhile, standard policing also remains under fire because of the misuse of license plate reader technology to track, trace, and augment. I mean, uh, and basically, um, database the completely innocent. Think about that. And with the arrival of even more automation and a commitment to augment routine police functions, it appears civil liberty advocates would do well to prepare for yet another war on privacy, which, think about it, folks. Does privacy really exist anymore? Do we have privacy anymore? And it really boils down to, if you accept this technology, if you decide that this is the way you want to go, then no. A privacy doesn't exist. I mean, we can claim it does. We can think that it does or live under the illusion that it does. But in the end, it, it doesn't exist. You know, the government for years and years have been giving out billions and billions of dollars of, of grant money to municipalities and states to install these uh, sensors on the vehicles, the license plate readers, all of that with the intention that they would eventually tap into this information. And that's exactly what they're doing now. Now you have ICE that is utilizing this information to, uh, uh, you know, track down illegal aliens and, and things like that. So this is doing exactly what it was intended. It is the government's way, the federal government's way of putting together a dragnet done by the, all the dirty work done by the municipalities and then the, the municipalities being the henchmen or the bagmen to the federal government reap the rewards of being able to taxate by citation, taxation by citation. So they tax and then they steal. State sanctioned theft brought to you by the federal government and the endless amount of grants that comes to your local police department. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Hashtag wake the flock up. Have a great day, everybody.